Hi guys, Linda here. I am trying a technique from Ann White and Anna White. And um, you all sent me over there, so of course I have to try it. Um, this is one of them, it's not quite dry. That's a wet spot there. And when I saw the video, I have had these for a long time and played around with them quite a long time ago. And I haven't used them, so I thought, oh, I'm going to play a little bit. So I did that one and this one, and I'm going to make those into cards. They need to dry a little bit, and they need a little bit of glitter. But I'll just show you what I did. So I have so many flower stands, and it's really hard to pick one out. Um, I just brought a whole bunch over here. I love poppies. I've never even used this stamp. But um, I think this one would be a really easy one to use. Um, you really have to have an open area. Like, I love that one, but these aren't really open areas. She might be kind of fun to do. Oh, you can't see her there. Um, here's some open ones from Raisin Boat that I've had for a long time. This one might be fun, and an iris would be fun since the irises are blooming and I love this one. I think I'll, I think I'll do one like that. Okay, so I have some watercolor paper here and I need to have my little pad in this because this is, I was using rubber stamp. So when you don't have a rubber stamp, you have to use this. Let's see. All right. And I think I want to cut this. Oh, I've got some ink. Oh, I got ink all over it. Oh, brother. Let's see if this piece is clean. Okay. Um, I know it probably came from under here because I was getting all excited and stamping places where I, you know, shouldn't have been stamping because it's so much fun. All right. Now, let me see, I want to cut this piece down to um, four by five and a quarter, because I like that size for a layer on a card base. I got that cut down and put a magnet on here. And then I think I'll try this iris. This one I did a little, you know, layering where I just stamped that one and then I put this on here or no I stamped that one I put this on here and stamped that and then I put this on here and stamped that one but I don't know maybe when I put lace and put it on a card base maybe it'll look better um, so you know it has this one big flower there but there's no like stem to it I don't know. I love the stamp she was using. Okay, so here's one lonely iris, but I guess that's okay for this one. Or should I do this one? I think I'm going to do this one. I must have used this someplace else because they have my name on it. <laughs> and I must have shared it. Okay, so then the next step I'm supposed to do, so all of you that have watched and do this, you'll have to tell me where I make my mistake. One of the things is I, I'm using, you know, the wrong brushes. I'm, <laughs> I guess I could try to get some of the right brushes out. I might do better with that. I used these on those cards and it might be a little harder to control the water with those. Oh my goodness, do I have a story to tell you. <laughs> I just got a call from Publisher, supposedly Publishers Clearinghouse. And this young man was telling me about my prize and how I could, you know, claim it. And I was supposed to go to Walmart and 
get my tax exempt card and you know who I was supposed to contact there and all that see some of these stamps and it first time I used them um, anyway somebody I was supposed to contact there and get my tax exempt number and then they would all take me to the bank and we would be depositing over a million dollars and you know I'm thinking yeah this isn't right this is a scam and I kept saying well I, I really don't want to go to Walmart can't you just come and give me my prize and he's like well no there's nothing you have to do you just need to get your tax exempt number and I'm like okay you know I'm listening to this whole spiel and finally he said well don't you want your prize do you want to donate it and I said yes I want to donate it to St. Jude's and he's like okay um what is their address I said well I'm sure you can find St. Jude's I don't have their address <laughs> and so he said okay you'll be getting a verification number in the mail I'm like, okay. So I'm waiting to see, you know, if St. Jude got my million dollars and a car, I think there was a car involved in it too. And, you know, it was really kind of hard because I was thinking, hmm, I could help the kids pay off all their college funds. This, this could be good. <laughs> but the whole time I'm thinking, this is a scam. This is a scam. And then after, I donated all the money to St. Jude's. Um, I called my son and he said, Mom, you, you did a good thing not falling for that because that was a total scam. And um, so I want to get the right question. So while I'm talking to my son, um, he's, oh, you know, he always looks everything up and he's gone. Yeah, Mom, it says that Publishers Clearinghouse will never call you. Um, they'll either come to your home, you know, they, they just won't call you. And so I was like, okay, good, good, because I made you a beneficiary and you just lost a million dollars. <laughs> but, you know, we were both kind of laughing about it. But then I thought, you know, this is, this is really bad. They, you know, and you know, they never said my name. They did ask if I um, entered in Publishers Clearinghouse, and I don't remember entering in Publishers Clearinghouse. So then I called, you know, the federal agency for spams, and I said, I, I didn't just lose a million dollars, did I? She said, no. And um, she said, did they, where did they tell you to send money? I said, they didn't. And she said, um, you know, what information did you give them? And I didn't give them any information because they didn't ask for it. They didn't ask for my tax ID or anything. They just wanted me to go to either wall greens or cvs cds or one of those places i don't know what that was all about to go there why you were supposed to go there i thought that was kind of weird but um so anyway i had an exciting afternoon thinking hmm. I, I, but i knew right away because i was pretty sure i hadn't entered publishers clearinghouse and they you know, of course, they did ask me that. And I said, oh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but maybe. You never know. <laughs> oh, God. It was quite the experience. Okay, so I do have some of that ink and tents here. I can see a little bit of it. So I'll activate that. So if anybody calls you telling you you won publisher's clearing house they will not call you they will just show up at your door <laughs> he even asked me if I wanted to go get dressed up because they were coming to my house and I was like no I'm okay 
in my sweatshirt and jeans or whatever. You know, I could care. And, you know, but I don't know what the bit was about going to Walmart. My son said they probably make you go there and buy some credit card, but there was a contact person. But, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how all that was gonna work. But just knowing that Publishers Clearinghouse would never call me was helpful. So I, you know, I think, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing. Um, and Anna's, she left some white spots and I'm not doing that. Oops, you can't even see what I'm doing. Ugh. Linda, sorry, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm talking away. This is pretty though, isn't it? I like doing this. It's almost easier than, um, you know, coloring with the Copic markers. There's a time and a place for everything, right? So then she took some other colors. I don't know, and then she just kind of went around it, kind of smeared it out. So if any of you have gotten that call, I hope nobody's out there that's watching my videos has gotten scammed. What an awful thing to do to people. Just when I called the federal whatever number, you know, they asked my age and where I lived. And I said, should I call anybody else to notify? She said, nope, where are the people you notify? <laughs> I thought about notifying the um, news stations because they often do um, reminders, you know, if there's a scam going on. <gasps> I really like that. When I see it on the monitor, I like it better than in real life. But now one thing Ann said is like, you can go, if you're using a Misty or something like that, you can go back in and make your lines a little brighter, which I think I'm gonna do. And then, look at all these pencils here. Those are watercolor pencils. The ones I have are DeWitt ink and ink. Tense. Ooh, she didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, what a day. All right, that kind of smeared a little, but it's okay. Oops, not that brush, this brush. I just wanna, the, um, because I slapped it down. And plus, um, when you, the water, the paper's pushing up, so it's gonna be a little bit different when it goes down you know the stamp isn't going to stamp in the same place but because the paper's curved a little bit maybe i just have i don't have the best watercolor paper i'll have to look and see what ann uses okay that's that um then I have this stamp from, I'll take it off of here, Elizabeth Craft that says flowers and like a definition. So that's writing. I think I'll put it right here. Oh, that didn't stamp out so good, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna stamp all around here, like for a background. Well, maybe I can do that too. And she took and sprayed, oh, sprayed hers at the end, but to make that all run, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. 
so what I did with my other one and then I took um, this other stamp this is a stamping up stamp that's just little like check marks or something I don't little X's do that and then she took and sprayed it um, I do have a spray bottle oh, I don't know I don't have that fancy Tim Holtz one and she didn't use a Tim Holtz one let me see how this is gonna spray I just feel like this is gonna spray let's see Ooh. Okay, I'm spraying. I'm going to move it off to the side and spray it. It didn't make it run too much. Okay, I think I'd rather do this. Well, it did kind of. Those look pretty good, but I just want to do this. To get it to smear around. I think she called it a vintage look or something like that. Oh, this is fun, you guys. Fun, fun. It is a beautiful day here. I walked to the Piggly Wiggly. I have felt really crummy the last couple of days. I don't know what that was all about, but yeah. It's... Smearing a little. But today I feel pretty good. I just, I was just like so tired. I get like that though every once in a while, I just get really tired. Must be because I'm old. <laughs> I don't know. Some people think 68 isn't old. I guess it's not too bad. Most of the time I don't feel that old. All right, let's see. All right, so that's kind of what I'm doing. That is really a pretty flower. It's a little too smeary for me, but that's okay. All right, so then let's make this one into a card. I'm gonna put some, something to make it glittery. Let's see. This is Glitter Gloss Aqua Shimmer by Nouveau, let's see. I think this was, yeah, this is dry. All right, so I'm gonna put that on all the flowers. Just looking to see if it's picking up any of the color, and it's not. See, that piece right there should be blue. And said something about if you're like, a perfectionist or I don't know that this method wouldn't be good for you <laughs> I can see how that would be now let's see if I can fix that this is... and then maybe after I put it on a card base I'll go in and put some more in there so I hope everybody's doing good today and they aren't getting scammer calls or being taken for whatever would have been kind of interesting maybe at the next time I go to Walmart I'll say where do I get a tax ID and just see see what that's all about something I don't like about that There's so many pretty laces but I don't know if that's what makes it so hard to pick it out or I don't know. That one's really pretty. Oh, I can't make up my mind. These kind of remind me of these, so I think it's going to be this piece. And then maybe a couple old buttons. So I gotta figure out do I take this off? I think I should. I need something up in this corner. Oh, I know, maybe a butterfly or something. Hmm, that looks okay. I like the sentiment because I care. 
you just feel like maybe it needs another layer behind it, like a darker blue layer. Let's see. So I took that off. I'm going to cut it down, cut this down a little bit more. I'm going to put this on here. And I'll rough up the edges too. I'm going to put it on a light blue base. Oh, that makes me so much happier. <laughs> I just needed more places, I guess, for my eyes to go. I will put the link to Anne's video below because hers is, you know, expert. <laughs> Whereas mine is just, this is fun. <laughs> That's what I do. It is just all about fun. I think I'm just gonna go like that and hope that I have enough on there. Button. These are old buttons. These look like the buttons that would be inside, you know, the anchor buttons. Put a little button there. Put a little button there. So there is one card done. Now let's try this one. Oh yeah, I was going to do something in the center of that. It's kind of hard to see these little centers. I think that's one too. This one or this one, which one should we do? See, when I did the spritzing with the water, it made water spots on there. I guess that's okay. Um, I'm gonna cut that one down too. I think I want to use a pink layer for that. I'll put this one on a craft background. I'm not sure I like this pink, but I'm going to use it anyway. Got to put a lot of tape on this watercolor paper. So it's pretty heavy stuff. This one's so old, it's like not in the best of shape. I've been watching Stephanie at Coffee, Paper, Scissors, and she's been using lots of her lace, and oh, it's so pretty. She knows how to do it, too. I think we need a little sparkle on this one, too. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It kind of did a little too much. That, can you have too much sparkle? I don't think so. More on this card. What do we need? Maybe. All right. Now, what else do we need on there? We need a sentiment. Um, maybe another piece of lace. Try this piece up here. Oh, I know what I'll do. That and a little pin. I'm thinking a little pin. A little pin with a bead on it, if I can. If any of these beads will fit on that pin, I don't know. I really wanted one of these little tiny ones. But I don't think these will fit, these little, little, little ones. Oh, they do. Okay, you need a sentiment too, maybe, huh? This is a big stamp. That might be really cool there. <laughs> this is not the time to do this, but <laughs> I should have done it at the beginning. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna try it. And I only get one chance at this stamp because it's um, a rubber stamp. I'm gonna try it on a piece of paper first. I think that'll look pretty good if I can get it really juicy. Alright, 
see if we can get it to work. I'll get all this stuff out of the way. The longer you let it sit, the more time it has to absorb the color. So hopefully, oh, that's pretty good. It says friend. All right, that's another card. That one's really, I don't know, messy. <laughs> They're all kind of messy. And so is my desk. Oh my goodness. This piece is, I've cut out these little things out of it. So I have, I'll have to do a little cutting on it. That's okay. This is such a strange color. It's not really craft, it's kind of, some kind of brown. Okay, now I want a nice olive green. I like that with that, but I don't know if I like it with that. I will like it with this. <laughs> I like everything with craft. And Irene, Irina, crafty Irina, years ago, sent me a whole pack of, um, cardstock just like that and I'm still using it. She has, it's been so good to me over the years. So my card bases are always four and a quarter by five and a half. So then this is four by five and then this is three and three quarters by um or yeah three and three quarters by five. Just a quarter of an inch smaller each time. Oh, I know what I want up there is one of those little bumblebees. I wonder do I have any more made? I think this butterfly would look really pretty on there. So I will cut it out. And that's gonna go on there. And for some reason, I really think this needs a button too, just because I have them and I wanna use them. Just got kind of squirted <laughs> with water. Let's see. And now we need a little glitter on you too, because it just, just isn't a card without a little glitter. Let's see. Ooh, um, the pen, the elegant writer reacts with this glitter right there. It was, the watercolors aren't, but that pen is, which is okay. Okay, so this spot's bothering me, so maybe I can get another butterfly for there. Let's see about that one. See, water hit that. I think my brush, my water brush sat there for a few minutes and did something that I didn't like. So there we go. All right. If I can find my desk. <laughs> oh, maybe just a little. All right, here are the three cards that I watercolored today using Ann White's idea or following her. Um, she said that she got it from, um, what is it? S hmm. Slip Coast Stampers. I don't know, I'm a member of that too and I always forget to go there and check things out. But there you have it, my three cards. Something for you to look at today, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're finding fun things to play with and um, that you are not being scammed. Anytime somebody's trying to give you a whole lot of money and, oh, the phone number was totally not registered. No number at all. And the people at the uh, government or wherever the scam people told me that they, they can pay to have a number so that it's hidden. So yeah, just be very suspicious of anything that people want to give you a whole lot of money or whatever. And 
um, publisher's clearinghouse will not call you. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.